Consumers are bracing themselves as the pace of car insurance premiums continue to rise. And joining us now is Rod. He's with Experian. Rod, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Glad to be here. So, Rod, tell us a little bit about, you know, how these insurance rates are going up. What's the percentage in the difference that we've seen in years past? In the last year, insurance rates have gone up about 20 percent, maybe a little bit more. So that's not just a little bit hey, when you think about how much insurance prices and insurance premiums are these days. So trying to find ways to save money, reduce those costs so that you can do other things like maybe put gas in your car is going to be really important. Yeah. Is there an average that you know of that uh, consumers are paying in premiums? Um, I don't have any specific averages. It depends on where you live uh, and it also can differ greatly from what kind of car you drive, the kind of driving that you do, whether you're driving a new car or an older car. And that's why it's so important to shop for insurance rates, to find the best rates available to you. There are lots of variables that come into play. Uh, you know, if you're in an area where you're in a big city, rates might be higher because there's higher risk of accident. If you're in a more rural area, they might be lower. But providers of insurance have different rates and it's important to find the best ones to suit your particular needs. Yeah, what should people be looking for when they are shopping for those rates? Well, they want to look for a number of things. One, they want to look for policies that provide the coverages they need, not only in terms of whether they're driving a new car or an older car, if you have a loan on the car, they might require you to, to have full comprehensive coverage. If it's a used car, it's paid off, you might not need quite so much. Every state has different requirements around the minimum coverages you need to have, so you need to make sure that you are getting the right coverages to comply with the law. Yeah, so besides shopping for rates, what are some ways people can cut costs to help save on those car insurance premiums? Uh, we have an insurance marketplace at Experian. We work with about 40 of the top insurance providers in the country. And what we find is when people work with us, we can save them about $800 a year. So that's not just a little bit. So we can do that shopping for you. And if you change providers, we will monitor for better rates going forward so you don't have to. Uh, two, most people know Experian is a credit bureau and know about credit scores. They don't often know that insurance companies have their own kind of score to help predict whether you'll pay your premium on time. So if you are taking care of your credit report, you have better insurance scores, that can help you get better rates. So check your credit report, know what's in it. Make sure you're using that to your advantage. Take steps to improve your credit history. Those are some good tips to kind of share because I had no idea that they were also doing their own, you know, quote unquote credit check uh, to help, you know, decide what the premium cost will be for many consumers. So that's great advice there. Any other advice you want to share with us? Do you take care of uh, your, your driving and you take care of credit history? Use your buying power as an individual consumer. They want you to be a customer. Uh, and so make them work for you and it, use a service like Experian's auto insurance marketplace to help make it easier for you and make sure that you're getting the same kinds of coverage. That's another thing that's really important. All right, Rod, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate that information you shared with us today. Thank you so much.